Welcome back guys to my third video uh, in my series of videos where I am showcasing the machines and the software that I use to be successful in the 2022 Power PC Challenge. Um, this particular machine is much more modest in spec. It is a 1.33 gigahertz Power PC G4 iBook, 1.25 gigs of memory, and Vanilla Leopard. Single CPU. Definitely slows things down uh, a bit, but there are some easy tweaks that really make this machine a very usable computer um, for web uh, as well as YouTube uh, in 2022. So let's get into it. Um, unlike the Power Mac G5s, it's not a big stretch or a, a, a heavy lift to, to get YouTube working on those machines. I mean, they just have a lot of a lot of guts, a lot of power. Um, this guy, much a much more modest machine. With this uh, computer, I do still use Wicknix's 10.5.2 version 5, but I do run a mobile user agent and I disable uh, some Java. And that allows for a very a fantastic uh, user experience. It's snappy. And, uh, and, and pretty consistent. Not much slideshow, uh, you know, syndrome or anything like that going on. Let's bring up some challenge videos. And there's, oh man, there was that nine hour stretch getting Natalie to work on that Power Mac G5. That was pretty awesome. Okay, um, here, Wicknix. Cool, he did a video here. I did watch this earlier. Uh, he was successful in getting Void Linux on his PowerBook 12 inch, uh, well, PowerBook, PowerBook G4 12 inch. Let's see here. You can see it's. You know, a nice, consistent, uh, smooth video. I guess I could have picked something with a little more audio to it. You guys could get it. Uh, you can see how smooth the audio play is on it. But considering, even considering the the modest specs of this machine and the bloated nature of Leopard, um, you know, with a few modest tweaks um, and common sense adjustments, you can get fantastic playback and have a great experience uh, on on a very old, otherwise old machine. A machine certainly most people think is absolutely useless and in comparison to an m1 mac absolutely it is none but there with error correct software and a few tweaks uh you know you can have a very full featured experience and and i i can tell you that i'm not really lacking uh for anything uh over the past uh week or so while using these power pc machines anyhow you get a, a look here working great Okay, so what's the uh, here? You know, interweb powered PC is a uh, is an obvious choice. Um, you know, knock out the the ads with Blue Hill Firewall or another. There are a number of options out there, um, and then drop into a mobile UA, and you have a very snappy user experience. On these single CPU machines, I typically will disable Java on these forums, which helps even further. But you know, to my point, you can see this particular machine, I did not take the time to disable Java. It still works great. It's a fantastic experience. I am talking about Java, buddy. Yeah, Java, not Java the Hut, silly. <laughs> oh, you're, you're such a funny little guy. Okay, so, um, uh, something interesting about these uh, Power Mac G4s and, and iBook G4s that I have in PowerBooks. Um, I have not been able to find a, uh, a stable version of ScreenFlow that operates on them uh, that I, you know, have full access and rights to use. Um, because of that, I have opted for using Snaps Pro. It was recommended to me on the Mac Rumors forum. Uh, I downloaded it. A little bit of a learning curve, figuring out how it works. Um, but man, I'm videoing this, this uh, using it right now to video this uh, screen capture and audio, and it, and it's working great for me. Um, so I will probably be using Snaps Pro for all of my other future uh, screen capturing videos on my Power Mac G4s and what have you, if, if I have time to get to them before the, uh, the challenge is over. But I highly recommend it. This was free to use, um, downloaded off of Macintosh Garden. And so if you're interested, I highly recommend it. It's working surprisingly well, really well in fact. Um, some other things that I use on this machine, you know, the other obvious ones, Facebook, uh, I use Faceit for Facebook, iTunes for video, uh, Discord Lite for, you know, snappy, responsive, 
uh, Tinker Different and uh, Mac Yak Discords that I frequent. I, I like to take a lot of videos, uh, or excuse me, well I do take videos, but I do like uh, photography and I use live courts on this machine often to um, tweak videos and touch them, or pictures and, and touch them up and, and get them where I want them to be. Um, let's see here, what else is on here that I like to use? I've got Audacity on here. I do also use GarageBand. I'm a fan of GarageBand. It's just simplicity and, and ease of use is, is nice. Um, but Audacity is a free um, app and uh, works really well for just capturing quick audio snippets, things of that nature. Um, what else? Ah, this one, OmniGraph will professional. If you, I'm a very visual person. If you're a visual individual, OmniGraph is a fantastic um, app to use uh, to visualize your workflow. So uh, either for yourself and or for a larger team so they can visualize the large picture, the large team goal works really great um, but you know that's about it on this video um, let's see here can't really think of anything else oh mama's home okie doke well I uh, hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you on the next video thank you very much bye